Welcome back to my channel, you guys. In today's video, I will be sharing with you my feminine hygiene routine for 2022. So if you guys are interested in seeing all of my in, out of the shower products that I use plus supplements, then keep watching. We all know every good hygiene routine starts in the shower. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my morning shower routine. If you guys are interested in the products that I use at nighttime, I already have a video up on my channel sharing those. So I will link it in the description box and here on the screen for you guys as well, if you're interested in that. Every morning, I like to start my day off by taking a shower just because when we sleep, we sweat, we roll around, and I just like to start my day off on a clean, fresh slate. So I go in with the Dr. Bronner's Peppermint Bar Soap, and I just mainly focus this underneath my armpits and my butt. So I use it on those two areas because those are the areas that I feel like perspirate and accumulate the most odors. Next, I'll go in with my Method Body Wash. If you guys are not new, you know I love the Method Body Wash, especially this coconut and rice milk one. It's super moisturizing to the skin. It smells really, really good. And it's just perfect for winter time for my skin because it doesn't strip my skin of all the moisture, but I still feel like it gets me really clean. Next, I'll go in with the Dove Coconut and Rice Milk Body Polish. Not every day, but probably like two to three times a week, I use this polish just to exfoliate my body, especially if I'm gonna shave in the morning or if my skin is a little rough and it just needs it. One thing I'm absolutely obsessed with is the Kapari Sudsy Shower Oil. This is perfect for shaving and also just adding that extra layer of hydration to your body before you get out of the shower. So I'll put that all over my body before I rinse off and get out. My new go-to for feminine wash is from Sweet Spot Labs. Their moisture renewing wash is fragrance free. It leaves out sulfates, glycerin, essential oils. So I really like it. It's a very moisturizing wash, which I actually really like for downstairs because it cleanses you without stripping all of the moisture from that area. For my feet, lately I have been trying to use some sugar scrub on them every single day i don't know what it is if it's just like me getting older or if it's the cold weather but my feet have literally been suffering this winter time um and i've just had like a lot of like little rough patches and places on them even like in between my times to go get a pedicure so i like to just exfoliate and try to get off as much dead skin as i can and then i use this little foot brush as well with a little bit of soap on there just to cleanse in between my toes and all of that good stuff now for my post shower body care or odor prevention if you guys know you know witch hazel is a girl's best friend every single day i will put this on a wipe or a tissue paper cotton pad whatever you have and just swipe it in between your butt cheeks thank me later you will have no odor down there for hours another thing that i'm obsessed with is this sweet cheek deodorant so i put this on after i use the witch hazel in that area and basically it's a deodorant for your butt and it smells like watermelons and do i need to say much more okay for my deodorant i'm currently using the dove aluminum free moisturizing sensitive deodorant my deodorants kind of switch seasonally depending on the climate um just because i'll perspirate more in the summertime than i do in the winter time so i have less body odor i feel like in the winter so i just usually use something light and fragrance and more moisturizing for my hoo-ha care i'm going in with the sweet cookie oil so basically this is concentrated oil that's meant to prevent ingrown soothe irritation etc and then a new product that i recently found is also from sweet spot labs this is the hydrate ever after and basically it is a labia moisturizer and so if you have any like dryness irritation down there whatever the case is you can kind of just put a little bit in that area and it kind of just replenishes the moisture for my oral hygiene routine everything is pretty much the same i use the listerine cool mint i always like to start with mouthwash first because that's what the dentist recommends so i'm going in with this big tongue brush that i got off of amazon i really really like this this is something new that i added into my routine and basically you just 
use it to brush your tongue <laughs> and then i also have this metal tongue scraper that i like to go in with afterwards to kind of just like rake everything off because the brush kind of like lifts all the grime and then the scraper just like kind of removes it so after that then i will brush my teeth i am absolutely obsessed with the crest two step two step whitening system so the first toothpaste is detoxifying it cleans out your mouth like cleans it out your mouth will literally feel like dry almost after you use it and then and then for the second minute of brushing you go in with the whitening gel and this toothpaste combo is like literally the only thing that keeps my teeth white i stopped using it for a little bit and went back to colgate and it was like the worst decision i ever made so this is my holy grail <laughs> and then i go in with the listerine healthy white mouthwash just to give my teeth an extra whitening boost <laughs> My skincare routine in the morning is pretty simple. I know this is not usually a hygiene topic, but I just thought I would throw it in here because you guys asked me, but I use the La Roche Poche, I think I'm saying that right, um, face wash, and I just wash my face for like a minute, and then I'll rinse it off, and I will go in with my Epiduo gel, and basically this is just something that was prescribed to me by my dermatologist. It's like 1% adapalene and 2% benzyl peroxide or something like that but basically just helps to prevent like acne and then in the winter time my skin gets really dry so i'm just going in with some hyaluronic acid serum from glow recipe this is also one of my holy grail products that i love and then of course lip care i'm using the summer fridays still their lip balm love it for body care in the morning i just keep it simple and do like one lotion and i'm using the method lotion because it matches the scent of the soap that i used in the shower so this is just kind of a way you can layer products to maximize the smell and then for perfumes if i'm wearing one that day most of the days i just stay in the house so i'll put on like a little body mist or something but if i'm going somewhere i'll just apply Vaseline to the areas where I'm gonna put the perfume. This just helps it to last longer. And I love this little Vaseline roll-on stick. Today I use the YSL perfume, What's YSL Libre. I really like this one. Other people like it on me, so that's been my go-to lately. Okay, moving on to supplements slash hydration because obviously we need to stay hydrated. That plays a big part in our overall health and our feminine health. So I like to try to drink at least seven bottles of water a day. I'm not always the best at doing that, but that is the goal. And I also take my vitamins in the morning. So we have a multivitamin here. We have acidophilus probiotics. We have chlorofresh, evening primrose oil, and some ashwagandha. Basically a rundown of all these supplements. Obviously multivitamin, that one's kind of self-explanatory. The acidophilus is a probiotic. This is like one of the best probiotics that you can take for your feminine health because it has literally every probiotic in it that you need and then we have our chlorofresh basically like an internal deodorizer so after taking this consistently for a while you'll notice that you don't really have any odor underneath your arms your backside area etc if you get the gist so that is something that i take every single day then the evening primrose oil i use basically as kind of like a hormone balancer it really helps with like my pms and my mood so my hormones i guess and then on top of taking probiotics i like to drink or have some type of yogurt again probiotics are a girl's best friend it just helps keep everything downstairs in balance and then my little special recipe the secret sauce the secret drink um it's really just cranberry juice and coconut water coconut water is really really hydrating it's a lot more hydrating than regular water and then obviously we know cranberry is good for preventing utis and so i mix both of them together and it actually tastes really good i would recommend this kind of coconut water though it's called like creative roots it's for kids but it's like mixed berry flavored and i personally like that a lot better than the taste of regular coconut water so those are what i use and then i just try to drink this once a day with my breakfast or my lunch and then lastly we have a restroom hygiene so i just kind of want to share with you guys how i freshen up throughout the day in between going to the bathroom one or two so 
basically i have my little peri bottle that i love i've shared it on my channel a million times i learned about this after i had my first son <laughs> four years ago and i still use one every single day so basically i just fill it up with water it's similar to like if you had a bidet next to your toilet and then you just kind of like rinse yourself off after you go to the bathroom um, and then following up with a couple of other things depending on like if i'm on that time of the month always use these water wipes absolutely amazing and then also follow up with a witch hazel wipe on your backside this again is going to prevent eliminate odor that might occur throughout the day and then something new that i discovered is also from sweet spots it's called a clean swipe so if you guys have seen some of my other videos where i shared like using um like no rinse cleansing water down in either of those areas this is kind of similar to that but it's in a gel form and always pat dry with some toilet paper and yeah that is all i have for you guys today again if you want to see kind of like my pm shower routine i'll link that video but at nighttime i pretty much just repeat this entire process over again as far as shower routine and oral hygiene the only thing extra that i do at nighttime is i will floss my teeth so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up comment and subscribe